A counter-battery radar or weapon tracking radar is a system that detects artillery projectiles fired by one or more guns, howitzers, mortars or rocket launchers, and, from their trajectories, locates the position on the ground of the weapon that fired it. Ukrainian defenders have proven to be very successful in using this radar system, and the Russian invaders have learned this in a harder way. A dramatic duel between a Russian flamethrowing rocket launcher and Ukrainian artillery somewhere in eastern Ukraine recently underscores a brutal truth about the fighting along that front. The duel played out during a video shoot by Russian propagandists. The video's host stood next to a TOS-1 thermobaric rocket launcher, bragging about the demoralizing effect of the 220mm diameter rockets. Thermobaric rockets are part of the mix as concentrated fires help Russian troops advance around Severodonetsk. Russia has achieved these recent tactical successes at significant resource cost, and by concentrating force and fires on a single part of the overall campaign, the UK Defence Ministry stated. It should come as no surprise that Russian media chose to highlight a TOS-1 battery somewhere in the east in recent days. And it also should come as no surprise that the Ukrainians likewise took an interest in the TOS-1. In the video, the TOS-1 fires one rocket, standard practice, as the crew would wait to gauge the accuracy of the first shot before firing a full salvo. Less than a minute later, there's the sharp sound of incoming Ukrainian artillery, which apparently misses. The video crew flees. The TOS-1 fires more rockets. More Ukrainian artillery is audible before the video ends. It's unclear whether the TOS-1 survived the Ukrainian counter-battery barrage. There were factors working against the Russian launcher. The TOS-1, while powerful, lacks range, 6 miles is the maximum. 6 miles isn't very far in an artillery fight. Even the oldest Ukrainian howitzers can shoot farther than that. The latest American-made M777s can fire out to a distance of 19 miles. To be clear, Russian guns and rockets outnumber Ukrainian guns and rockets, especially in Donbas. But the Ukrainians have some advantages in a counter-battery fight, in particular with TOS-1s. Kiev's forces far more than Moscow's forces have learned to deploy drones, including military models, off-the-shelf quadcopters and custom-made octocopters. Many hundreds of them. Drones can spot Russian artillery and help walk and return fire. The Ukrainian army also deploys American-made counter-battery radars. The radars detect enemy artillery fire and instantaneously, and precisely, trace it back to its origin. The Russian army has counter-battery radars too, of course. But the Ukrainian army benefits from steady supplies of fresh radars from foreign donors. The Ukrainians since February have received no fewer than three dozen new counter-battery radars from the United States and other foreign allies. The Ukrainian counter-battery system, dramatically on display in that Russian propaganda gone wrong, should improve in coming weeks as the first high-mobility artillery rocket system launchers arrive from the United States. A truck-mounted HIMARS can fire six M30 rockets out to a distance of 43 miles, well beyond the range of almost all Russian guns and rockets. Pair HIMARS with drones and radars, and you've got a highly effective counter-battery system. It's possible the twos one in the video escaped the Ukrainian shelling. Pretty soon, however, dodging counter-battery fire could get a lot harder for the Russians. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.